So let's take a look at a color chart to see how white light is made from blue LEDs. If you look at a color chart, the outside edge of the color chart shows all of the different colors. So red is 620 nanometers, green is 550 nanometers, blue is 400 to 450 nanometers. And by combining colors of all these different wavelengths, you can create any color that you see. One area of the color chart is the white light area. And that's actually an area. It's not one single point. You have a whole range of colors which, uh, that are white, which might seem strange. Uh, for example, if you think of the, the headlight that's coming at you on the road that's a, kind of that bluish color, that's actually known as cool white. Uh, the other extreme, you could think of the white that you get from a candle glow. That's actually warm white. So we have to figure out how to make LEDs that can make that whole range of white light. To do this, uh, let's take a look at where the blue LEDs are in color space. They're down here at 440 to 460 nanometers. Somehow we have to take that blue LED and turn it into a white LED. We do that by using a material called phosphors. Phosphors absorb blue light and then they re-emit at a different color. Yellow phosphors re-emit around 560 or 570 nanometers. So what this means is if I have a phosphor and I combine it with a blue LED, I can make a color anywhere on this line. And if I adjust the amount of phosphor just right, I can make a cool white LED. Now, if you take this phosphor concept and you had phosphors that made all different colors, you could easily see how we could take a blue LED and make the whole range of white, from cool white to warm white. Unfortunately, there are only phosphors at yellow and green color points and red color points which means the things in between need to be mixed together. And so that's how we make a warm white LED. We mix yellow and green and red phosphors together. We combine that with a blue LED. And then now we can make colors anywhere along this line. And this is how we make a warm white LED. So phosphors are a really key important uh, element of the technology made for white LEDs. But you can also use phosphors to make colored LEDs, to make green ones or pink ones or red ones. And the technology uh, for those phosphors is what's, is what's in the hue bulb, uh, which is what we'll talk about next. The technology in Philips LumiLED's LEDs enables color tunability, such as that found in the Philips Hue bulb. The Philips Hue is very special. You can connect to it wirelessly with your smartphone, your tablet, your PC, and use it to change the colors on the Hue to create a wide range of white light from cool white to warm white, uh, from red to green to purple lights. The hue bulb also gives off about the same amount of light as a 50 watt incandescent bulb. But because it uses energy savings LumiLED's LEDs, it uses only 8 watts. Now to learn a little bit more about how that technology works, we need to take a look at a color chart. So here we can see the inside of a hue bulb. Uh, it's been cut away and you can see there are three different kinds of LEDs inside. There's a red LED. You can see there on the color chart it's about 610 to 620 nanometers. There's these blue LEDs, and those are about 440 to 460 nanometers. And then there are these green LEDs. And these are very special and unique LEDs to Philips LumiLEDs. They're made using our proprietary phosphor technology, LumiRamic. And instead of making a white LED with the LumiRamic, we've designed it specially to make a green LED. And that's because with the LumiRamic technology, we have excellent color control and great efficiency. So with these special LumiLEDs LumiRamic Lime LEDs, we can then combine that with the red and the blue LEDs in the hue bulb to make any color in this triangle. And that's how the hue bulb can create over 16 million different colors and really demonstrate the capability of next generation light bulbs.